Hey Tularinos, here's a little Merry Christmas uh, gift I'm working on for a family member. I'd like to make this into a shelf that can be uh, mounted on the wall to hold uh, odds and ends, knickknacks, things that are needed. So I thought it would make a, a cool shelf for a family member who really likes Coca-Cola. It's pretty rickety, as you can see, so I'm going to pry off all the strapping and uh, replace these individual backboards with a piece of plywood uh, so that'll strengthen it and I'll clean it and I'll probably coat it with some urethane or something to make it shiny and, and presentable and I'm gonna add a shelf here in the middle well it put up quite the fight but it's almost apart what I have noticed is the uh, the two strappings were not the same. I think this one with the cleaner rounded edges was original and this one was probably a later repair that was done to fix up the crate. And something else is the, uh, the original nail heads are rounded over. So if you look at the difference, this is one of the original heads and you see how it has a, a crown to it. And look at its length. The strapping on the other side was held down with shorter nails, and they were dead flat. So just in case any of you is into collecting these sorts of things, <laughs> there's a little bit of a detail. The original strapping is rounded, and the original nails are smooth and rounded, which would make them hold up better and slide around better and not catch on things. So there you go. We learned a little extra something on this project. All right, middle shelf is complete. The joints came out pretty good. I cut them very carefully by hand with this old miter saw. It was going to be in a future Habitat for Humanity tool haul, but check it out. Pennsylvania Saw Corporation, York, Pennsylvania, USA. Pretty neat old saw. It is a foggy, wet, rainy day outside, the day after New Year's, uh, but since the holiday fell on the weekend, I have the day off, so I can spend the time in the shop. These little heaters help a lot. So unfortunately, my Christmas present for my wife did not get finished before Christmas. Family responsibilities and such, you know, got in the way, but I'm sure my wife understands since she's involved. <laughs> But uh, I got the backboard on, I washed it, and so it's still a little damp. If it looks a little funny, it's because it's still drying. But uh, I got the backboard screwed on with some short drywall screws, and the top and bottom board are nailed with some little brads. It helps to have lots of different kinds of hardware. Right, Reggie? All right, the strapping is going on well. I decided to use the silver screw heads instead of the brass because I only have six of the brass ones and I need way more than that so I'm using small silver uh, brads with a rounded head for most of the strapping and then one of those bigger ones on the front so that uh, it looks pretty good I like it hey Tularinos the Christmas project shelf is finally complete uh, it's too cold and damp out to do the clear coating uh, in the shop. So I'm down here in the train room on the uh, the mess of a bench here. Could definitely use some winter cleaning. But the shelf turned out pretty good. Uh, I'm happy with it. The strapping all came out nice. The paint still looks okay with the shiny uh, clear coat on it especially. And you know the shelf is nice and smooth and uh, basically it turned out exactly as I was expecting it to which is kind of rare for my projects, honestly. <laughs> but this Christmas project is in the can, as Scout Crafter would say. Uh, this is the best kind of Christmas gift, right? One that uh, is special because we work on it, and uh, we sort of put our love into the things we do to it, and we hope the people we give it to will appreciate it, you know, for as long as possible. It's like love you can touch. <laughs> Happy holidays, everyone.